Thank you, thank you. It's uh, overwhelming to see so many friends here and so many supporters. Dean and I are, are truly honored by it. Thank you. My, my fellow Pennsylvanians, walking through the halls of this incredibly, incredible museum, I was reminded that America is the most exceptional country in the world. And its birthplace was right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And Pittsburgh, this remarkable city, this remarkable city was the industrial engine that made America a global superpower, right here in Pittsburgh. And yet, sadly, sadly, the America we know is, is slipping away. Under the failed leadership of Joe Biden, America, America's in decline. Economically, militarily, spiritually, you see it, you know it, you feel it. Now, I'm here to tell you tonight that it doesn't have to be that way. With your help, with your support, with your leadership, we can have a much brighter future ahead. We have, we have such big problems. We have to confront our problems. We have a border that's open, and we have too many factories that are closed. Crime is up, and incomes are down. Prices for gas, for rent, for food are high, while confidence in our leaders is low. Under Joe Biden and Bob Casey, what's supposed to be up is down. And what's supposed to be down is up. We can do better. We can do better. We cannot lose our country. We cannot lose our culture. We must not accept the status quo. I've got one word for you, and the people that have known me and have worked with me for years know it. It's leadership. The one word is leadership. We need leadership in this country and in this commonwealth to lead us forward. Uh, I served as a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division, and we had this saying. I appreciate my, my friend, the senator, who's a Marine, clapping for the, for, the, for the paratrooper. We had a saying, which is paratroopers lead the way. And I've been leading, I've been leading my whole life, fixing problems, making things better. And for that reason, I just can't stand to watch what's happening in Washington. I have total faith and confidence in the people of Pennsylvania, total faith and confidence. But they need leadership. We need leadership that can ensure that we have the opportunities that we deserve to make the American dream available for every citizen of Pennsylvania. And that's why today, I'm announcing my candidacy for the United States Senate. Thank you. We need to elect leaders that create an economy that works for people who work. We, we need leaders who defend America from the weakened policies of some and this misplaced virtue and the weakness that we see in our leadership today. We need leaders who stand up to China's aggression. Right. 
And we need leaders that give people hope and confidence and faith that the American dream is alive for all. And, and I really believe this, my fellow Pennsylvanians, we can make this happen together. Together, we can unify the Republican Party in our great commonwealth. And together, together we can work hard to earn the votes of all citizens of this great commonwealth, regardless of their party. And together, together we will defeat Bob Casey. Now let me tell you a little bit about who I am. I'm Pennsylvania first. I was born and raised here in Pennsylvania. I've been America first since my very first day as a plebe at West Point when mom and dad dropped me off in Mikey Stadium and left me there. <laughs> I'm a combat veteran, I'm a successful businessman, and I'm a seventh generation Pennsylvanian born right here in Washington, Pennsylvania, right down Route 79. <laughs> And as my dad will tell you, my great, 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 great grandfather immigrated from Ireland and settled in western Pennsylvania in the early 1800s. Now, now, many of you who support me know this and maybe like her better than me, but I'm also the husband of an incredible, amazing wife. Dina. Dina, 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 Dina. Okay. That is, I keep hearing that we should have her run for something instead of me. That's not the purpose of this rally tonight. I just want to I want to make that clear. We together have six incredible, beautiful daughters, and pardon us, but we think they're the most special kids in the entire world. My mom and dad are lifelong teachers. Uh, they're sitting right here t with us tonight. With my dad beginning his career, beginning his career teaching economics and democracy at Punxsutawney High School. And my mom teaching eighth and ninth grade, and both of them went on to have incredible careers of success and service and contribution. And my dad went on to become the chancellor of higher education for the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education for 18 years. He knows the back roads of this state better than anybody. And mom and dad, I'm so glad to have you here tonight. So proud of you, and, uh, uh, and I think you know this, but I wouldn't be up here tonight without you. So thank you, thank you so much. I, I see some Panthers in the room. I graduated from Bloomsburg Public High School. I attended West Point. I volunteered to be a paratrooper, and I served in combat in Iraq. Yeah. And I've worked in, in the top positions in the federal government, and I've, I've led a company in Pittsburgh called Free Markets that created many, many hundreds of jobs. There's a, right here, there's a, there's a Free Markets alum in the audience. I see it. But you know, I've, I've, so I've had my share of successes, but you know, like many Pennsylvanians, I've also had my share of failures, personal failures and public failures. I know what it's like to lose a big match and walk off the mat. And I know what it's like to get fired from a job. And I know what it's like to lose a big election. You may have heard something about that. <laughs> but each and every time, I picked myself up, picked myself up. I dusted myself off. I learned from my mistakes and I moved forward. And you know why? That's what leaders do, but that's what Pennsylvanians do. And the thing about it, every step along the way, the one thing that was certain is I never accepted the status quo and I never will. 
That's important to say because it couldn't be more different than my opponent. My opponent was born to run for political office. And I was born to shake things up. The company I led in Pittsburgh was a pioneer in business software. At Bridgewater, we succeeded by innovating and doing business differently. Now remember, I told you I'm a paratrooper, so you don't, you don't volunteer to do that for a living unless you're willing to mix things up a little bit, right? And, uh, and that's why I refuse to let things stay the way they are in Washington. Congress is broken. Is there any doubt when you turn on the television that Congress is broken? The budget's broken. The ability to get anything done is broken. I'm the only candidate in this race that can change Washington. And the truth is, the truth is, both parties need to be shaken up. And what they're doing, it just isn't working. And frankly, my opponent is part of the problem. He first ran for office almost 30 years ago. Bob Casey's not going to change Washington. Bob Casey is Washington. And my opponent is a rubber stamp. More to the point, he's Joe Biden's rubber stamp. When Joe Biden says jump, Bob Casey says Aye. When Joe Biden says vote, Bob Casey says which way? When Joe Biden comes calling, Bob Casey comes running. Now here's the problem with rubber stamps. Rubber stamps leave the southern border open, right? Rubber stamps expose the people of this commonwealth to rising crime and a fentanyl crisis. Rubber stamps vote for trillions of dollars of spending, like Senator Bob Casey did when he voted for the Biden Inflation Creation Act. That's one of the most wasteful, pork-bellied corporate welfare bills in the history of the Congress. That's what Joe Biden and Bob Casey gave us. Bob Casey represents six more years of rubber stamps, six more years of inflation, six more years of runaway crime, six more years of an immigration crisis, six more years of an attack on our domestic energy sector, and six more years of a risky national security strategy that is weakening us, weakening us abroad and in the world. Do you know what Bob Casey is? Bob Casey is a rubber stamp that's been around too long. Now, I want to put this in perspective for you. Uh, when Bob Casey was first elected almost 30 years ago, the Macarena was the number one song on the charts. Okay? <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger, Big Ben, he was in middle school. <laughs> and most of us had never heard of this thing called the internet. That's how long Bob Casey's been around politics. Now, my opponent is a nice guy. He's a nice guy. But he's not a leader. And what we need now is leaders. We need a leader to shake up Washington. <laughs> We need a leader. We need a leader to fight to restore the American dream. And most important, we need a leader to rekindle the American spirit. been and that's what I'll always be. This is, this is pretty straightforward. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a race between a Pennsylvania success story and a rubber stamp career politician. If you like the status quo, you should vote for Bob Casey. If you want to continue the failed policies of Joe Biden, vote for Bob Casey. But if you want a senator who's going to go to Washington 
who's going to shake things up, who's going to fight for you, and who believes that America's best days lie ahead, then I ask for your vote. this beautiful sunset in this magnificent city with so many friends and family uh, to have the opportunity to declare my candidacy. With your help, with your support, with God's grace, we're going to win this race. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless the United States and God bless our great commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Thank you.